hey guys how are you doing so in this video today we're gonna try to have a look at ashes batch manager for that i'm gonna start with this template here and i'm gonna assume that i already have the model that i like i have the model that i like and have the sensors that i like so for example i don't know i'm gonna just gonna add a sensor here say that i want to know what happens in element 8. okay so basically the question that I'm that I'm trying to answer now is how does this model react to many different environmental conditions, different types of winds, different types of waves and so on. So what I'm going to do now is come here and in this drop down menu I can select the batch manager. When I go to the batch manager I open this window, this is a list of all the batch uh, runs that I've done so far. So if it's the first time that you that you open this window, you probably won't have anything. So what I'm going to do now is create a batch that I'm going to call, I don't know, batch for example, with a queue. And here it is. So that's my batch. So now here I can define all the all the environmental conditions that I have in Ashes. The only thing that you see so far is the wind because that's the default parameters that we present but if you want to study the waves as i was saying you would click here on parameters and say that you want waves so for example i can come here and say oh sorry here and select the the wave type so now i'll be able to select if i want regular waves or irregular waves or etc and i want to check what happens with one uh, with irregular waves and with the peak period and the significant wave height. Okay, so every time I tick something here, I have the, the parameter that appears here, right? Okay, so now I'm happy with all the parameters that I want and I come here. So, of course, these here are irregular waves and here I have only regular waves, so that's why I cannot select any of these parameters. If I want to be able to change the peak period and the significant wave height, I have to come here and say that what I had were irregular waves. So here it says irregular wave single spectrum, but it doesn't fit in, in my computer for some reason, but hopefully you can see it on your computer. So I select irregular single spectrum, which is what it says here, and now I'm able to change this. So now I can add different load cases and say, okay, let's see what happens when I have 12 as a peak period, 14, and then maybe, I don't know, whatever, 20. And same here, you could be changing your parameters. Um, I've changed these parameters, but of course you could change the winds, the, the type of wind, you could change the, the tides, you can change all the parameters that you, that you see in Ashes. And now I can run the batch. And here I see that these four simulations are being run at the same time. Okay, so this is pretty cool, but the problem is that you might not want to manually enter all these parameters. You might you might not want to manually enter the the wave height for the 20 simulations that you're going to run. So if you don't want to do that, what you can do here is create a template basically. So I can create a new batch and say I don't know, this is going to be called Baba Batch, for example. And I have it here. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to say that what I wanted was irregular waves. So I select type so that I can choose irregular here. And under waves irregular, I'm going to select the peak period and the significant wave height. Okay, now I select irregular. And that's it. That's the point where earlier I was adding load cases. Okay. In order to, in order not to add the load cases manually, what I'm going to do is export this, export the batch, and I'm going to export it and call it. I think it was called Baba Batch, right? So Baba Batch here. So now I have done that, and I can come. I can come here and say Baba Batch. That's what I just created now. So if I open this here, that's that's the one that I just created. I'm gonna close this one. So if I open this, what you see here is exactly the same thing as what you have in Ashes, basically. So wind, uniform, 10 meters, and so on and so on. 
So in order not to have to enter these things manually, what I can do here is go like this, select all this, and now I can change these things, uh, these things automatically, right? So for example, I don't know, if I wanted irregular waves that start at one, two, three, and so on, I would do this like that and change all these things. Of course, I'm doing this this with Excel, which is not the best tool for this, but if you have a MATLAB or a Python script, you could do that with, uh, with that as well. I can save my batch, and now when I come here, if I go back to this window, I can import a batch. And I'm going to import a batch, and I'm going to import the one that I just created, which is this one here. I'm going to call this one, I don't know, for batch, because I'm tired of writing blah 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 all the time. So this is for batch now, and this is what I just created, okay, with this peak period going from 1 to 15. Now I could run it and see the results, but I'm not going to do that because I'm not really interested in those results. Um, so now this is the batch that I was running earlier and, oh no, it's not this one, sorry, I guess it's this one. Yeah, this is the, the batch that I was running earlier, that I was showing you earlier. So now I can see that all my, uh, all my results are completed. So what I can do is open the result folder here and then see all my results. So now all my results, I have them in uh, in this folder here. In case you need to, in case you have some batches that didn't work, uh, you can check the batch log here. And when you open the log, you will see, when you open the log, you will see which batches didn't run and, and what failed and, and things like that. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. The last thing that I wanted to show you is that in case you're not really sure about what model you're using, uh, one thing that you can do here is go to Tools, Preferences, and have Batch Computing, and that's gonna that's gonna say that's that's gonna choose whether you want to save the f the model corresponding to each of the load cases that you're simulating every time. So that would be this thing here, and this would be if you wanted to save the the file that I just exported you would have to take this to tick this here. Now just apply and so you know for your next batch you would have this these two things. Okay, this is basically all I wanted to show uh, in this video. If you have any questions or doubts uh, just uh, send us a mail or drop us a comment and we will reply as soon as possible. Thanks a lot and see you around.